everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the final kind of got a doozy of a film for you today. Going back to 68, 1968, that is, with Mantis in Lace, or Lila, as it was also called. Now we get the story of Lila, who's a stripper, who ends up taking a guy to her love nest for a little extra entertainment. Well, when he gives her some LSD, she trips out goes with the meat cleaver and makes like Mr. Ginsu on him, okay? But it doesn't end there because she doesn't realize she's doing this. And rinse, wash, we repeat at least four different times where she takes the LSD and starts to whack out, okay? And whack with the meat cleaver. And we watch that unfold and we watch these two cops uh, trying to solve the mystery of where these guys are getting chopped up and put in boxes. Ah, uh, Wow, if there was ever an example of your classic late 60s exploitation, sexploitation film, Mantis and Lace would be it, okay? Uh, you've got everything in here. You've got the TNA shots. You've got looped TNA shots. Uh, you got bad dialogue, bad acting, a horrible soundtrack with only two songs. One of them is the theme song to the movie, Lila, which Lila also dances to in her love nest for her lovers and uh, soon-to-be victims. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, about the best two things that I really enjoyed about this were the two cops played by Steve Vincent and James Brand. These guys' uh, dialogue was very humorous and I they, they really helped carry me through some of the slower points of the film. I, you know, I mean, these, these and the actress, Susan Stewart, who plays Lila, is no stranger to the sexploitation film, although I think she went to the orgy of the dead school of dance because, let me tell you, this is, yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah, that, that's how she dances. She, ooh, yeah, ooh. Yeah. No, I'm not going to scare you with taking my shirt off. But anyway, very uninspiring performances. People just looking to pay a, get a paycheck, you know. Uh, and the effects in here are, it's low-budget schlock, so you're not looking for much. And it definitely uh, it meets that low expectation. Um, lots of topless shots, very little... Uh, depth or meat at all uh, and it basically just comes down to a classic example of your sexploitation film so if you're a fan of the genre and haven't seen it yet definitely check out Mantis and Lace if you're not a fan of B uh, sexploitation films you can skip this one looking for something a little different or laugh at you can possibly pick this one up though I do think uh, you can pass it by as well uh, at, Outside of it being a classic example of a sexploitation film, there's very little other merit or reason to see this movie. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep 